Hey YouTube, Phantom Outlaw here coming at you with another review. And no, you're not going cross-side. Those are two different guns you're looking at there in front of you. And as you can tell by the title in the video, today we're talking about the Heritage Rough Rider Revolver. Sometimes called a cowboy gun because of the format and the style of gun that it is. More on that here in a moment. But this is the Small Bore Heritage Rough Rider. Caliber on this is 22. What does that mean? 22 short, 22 long, 22 long rifle, and in some cases, 22 magnum. We'll get to that here in just a moment. The overall length of these guns, and that's this particular set, is 12 inches. The width is about 1.48, height 5.5 inches, weight 32.7 inch ounces, sorry, 32.7 ounces empty, of course. Barrel length, this is the six inch version that's actually six and a half inch barrels. It's kind of confusing. There's also a four inch version which is 4.75 inches for the barrel length and there's a nine inch version which is nine inches. So a little bit confusing and all that but this is the 6.5 inch barrel length. This is a single action only hammer fire gun. More of a cowboy action as I said a moment ago. It's the four click version just like the Colt uh, single actions. Alright, the sights. These are um, fixed sights. We have a notch at the front and a, and a, I'm sorry, a spike at the front and a notch in the rear. There's nothing you can do to adjust it other than, <laughs> kind of weird, you can sort of bend the front sight side to side to adjust for windage and you can file some off to account for elevation. Of course you can't add any on so you're kind of limited there but it's really not adjustable sights. And to be honest for these type of pistols that's really not that important for most people. Alright, grips. Boy this is where it gets crazy. There are probably two dozen different types of grips for these guns. You can find them in most configurations. This one here, this is mine, this has the Coco Bolo grips. This one in the rear is my wife's and she's got the Mother of Pearl pink grips. More on those in a moment here. Um, for mine, I did, they're not normally this glossy, this is not plastic, this is real wood. When I got mine, I cleaned them up real nicely. They came pretty clean, I just touched them up a bit. And then I rubbed some true oil on them. I've got three coats of true oil on that. I wasn't sure if I was going to stick with the high gloss or dull it down a little bit. I just wanted to make sure that the uh, wood was protected and so far I'm, I'm sticking with the high gloss. I, I've had it that way for quite some time now and, and I think I like it. The frame is aluminum alloy on these. The barrels and the cylinders are steel. Um, the finish is, these are blued finishes. There's also black satin finish, silver satin finish and case hardened finish. I have seen the case hardened finish ones. It's the same basic pistol, it's just the aluminum is a little bit different uh, texture to it, a little bit different look to it. It's nothing wrong with it, it's just different. Alright, these are six shot cylinders, and the trigger pull on these is right around six pounds. So yeah, that's kind of weird. We've got a single action only six pound trigger pull. It is what it is, as they say. So, um, I'm not sure, I've never shot the original Colt single action. Um, Maybe it also is a six pound trigger pull, I don't know. These aren't copies of that. These are just similar in terms of features to that. All right, let's talk about a couple different things on this. Some of the pros. All right, the obvious pro is the price point. So this is the Heritage, as I said, Heritage Manufacturing is who makes these. Heritage Manufacturing was purchased, it was acquired by Taurus uh, a number of years ago, five, six, seven years ago now. For some of us out there, uh, myself included, don't have a real high opinion on some of Taurus products. Some of them are, I do respect. I've done other videos on some of their handguns and I'm not ha disappointed with some of them. Other ones I haven't been disappointed on. But so when, when people hear, oh, so Taurus makes these. Well, Taurus doesn't make these. Taurus owns the company that makes these. Either way, it's still a, a relatively low priced uh, gun. I think the MSRP for these is right around $200. Most stores are going to have them around $150 to $175 or so. Um, it doesn't matter if you have the four inch to six inch. I've not I've not seen the nine inches in stores yet, but the price seems to be about the same. The only thing that that raises or lowers price is this thing right here. If this gun came with this, this is the 22 Magnum cylinder. It's very easy to swap out the cylinders. There's a bunch of videos out there on YouTube on how to do it, so I'm not going to waste your time going over that. But you can swap out the cylinders in about 45 seconds or so. This gun did not come with the 22 Magnum cylinder. It'll work just fine in it. All of the guns are made the same. Some ship with the cylinder, some don't. Each box, when you get a Heritage, has a coupon inside the box that you can send in to Heritage for $30 and they will send you the 22 Magnum cylinder. 
I've been to their website. There is no mention anywhere on the website of the 22 Magnum cylinder or how to acquire it. I just know from purchasing two of these that in the box for each of these you will find a coupon you send in with $30 and you'll get sent the 22 Magnum cylinder. Some guns come with it already. Those tend to be 10 to 15 dollars more than those without so simple math tells you buy it with the cylinder you'll save 15 bucks your choice all right so that's a nice pro these are relatively low price point guns now if you're buying this gun for home defense or personal protection then i would hope that your plan of attack is defending yourself against a horde of squirrels because other than that 22 is not an ideal choice Yes, you can kill somebody with a 22. Yes, you can kill a deer with a 22. Yes, yes, yes. But those require spot on, very, very accurate shots that, as we all know, while they may happen, they should never be expected. So these are not defensive guns unless it's the only thing you've got. Something's better than nothing. I get that. However, these are not defensive guns. Another nice little perk with this gun, and this is something that I'm not sure how many revolvers I've seen this. I think there's going to be one or two other ones, but this has a safety. All right, so when, the, when it's cocked and the safety is engaged, when you pull the trigger, you'll see the hammer fires. What's going to be tough to see, it does not make contact with the firing pin. As I rotate this safety lever on and off, you're going to see this little bar that flips down. When the safety's on, the hammer cannot go far enough forward to make contact with the firing pin. Now, many people will also be aware of, when you're talking about these single, single action type revolvers, you carry the gun with the cylinder spots open that the hammer would make contact with. In other words, while it has six holes in a cylinder, you carry five shots. That way you don't have to worry about an accidental discharge. If you're going to carry this gun, think about that. But it does have the safety option, which does allow you to kind of at least consider not going with that option. I'll leave that for you guys to decide on that, but it is a nice little touch that it does include the safety. As I've already mentioned, another one of the pros, this is modeled after the Colt single action. It is not the same thing. All right, this is not the same thing at all. Heritage does make, this is a small bore. Heritage does make big bore. It's available in 357 Magnum, I believe 45 Colt. 38 Special would go along with the 357. So there's two or three other sizes out there in the big bores that you can get. They're more traditional cowboy style guns. Um, they, they look and act very much like this, or just a little bit beefier. I do not have one of those to show you. All right. Um, it does shoot, as I mentioned earlier, 22 short, 22 long, 22 long rifle, and if you have this cylinder, 22 magnum. So the fact you have that nice variety of calibers um, allows a lot of freedom when it comes to what you want to shoot, how you want to shoot. The, you know, there's, with a 22, there's very, very little recoil. Shooting this, it's almost non-existent. I can't imagine. I've only shot LR and magnum. I can't imagine how soft the 22 short would be in these compared to the 22 LR because there's almost nothing with the 22 LR. But if you want to go even softer yet, and if you could actually find some 22 shorts, you do have the ability to shoot that with this gun. It's weird because if you look on the manual that comes with this, it says 22 LR only. And then when you go to their website and do some digging around, I came across 22 LR means short, long, and long rifle. So it's kind of confusing, but that's the information I've got. Um, this is a fun gun to shoot. It's a single action only 22. Putting holes in tin cans and pieces of paper and things along those lines, this is a blast to shoot. There's no doubt about it. It's a fun gun to shoot. Um, I had a, a lady re reference this a couple years ago as the John Wayne gun. <laughs> so who knows? But the point is it's a fun gun, no doubt about that, for uh, young and old to shoot. Um, another nice plus with this, and when you go to the website, you're going to find 26 or 28 different choices of grips. All right, now there's two styles. This is the most common. They have another called the bird's beak or something like that as another style. This receiver is not set up for that, so you can't put those. I think they're like four or five choices of that type of grip. That would not fit on this model. There's a different model of gun those would work on, but all of the other grip choices would work on these. And you've got all different different types of wood, different um, the mother of pearl pink. There's mother of pearl black. There's there's pink wood. Um, there's texturing on some of those. I mean, it's just a whole plethora of different choices. And they range from about 20 bucks to about 35 bucks, I think, for a set of grips. And they're all very easy just to screw in the middle that holds them on. It's easy to put on and take off. This one actually came with white plastic grips. I got my, my wife the pink ones as a nice little touch for her. She's very appreciative of that, so it worked out just fine. But you've got choices. That's another nice little plus. You, you're not stuck with what you get. You, if, you, if you find the right price on one, but you say, boy, I just wish it had different grips. 
you can change the grips. It's not a big deal. And with the coupon that comes with it, you can also buy the 22 Magnum cylinder to swap out if you choose to. All right, let's talk about a couple of the cons because there are a few cons left as there are in life. Um, the sights. <laughs> as I mentioned, uh, while these may be true to the design of the gun and that's why they went with this, I do believe they do make a version that has um, drift adjustable sights as well as fiber optic front sights. The most common versions of these guns come with these type sights and they do suck. Um, I am going to look into options. I may uh, put some um, some type of white sight paint on the front sight of mine just to help out with that. Again, with my aging eyes, and I'm not an old man, I don't pretend to be, but you know, 50 is a lot different than, than 30 was. <laughs> and uh, the eyes don't work as well as I used to. So I would appreciate something a little bit easier to pick up on this site. So maybe a little bit, just a little bit of that white sight paint would be to do the trick. Who knows? But these sights as they are, suck. All right. Um, so the finishes of these. Now this is an, an aluminum alloy receiver. The finish can be all over the place. These two happen to be pretty decent. Um, I had a choice. I looked through them and I chose these. Some of the ones that I've seen are less perfect, if you will. There's more milling marks on them. They're cast aluminum. Um, they don't spend a ton of money polishing that or, or, or smoothing out the, the, the finish on them because of the price point. They're charging 200 bucks or less for these guns, not four or 500 which means that if Heritage were charging more money, they could spend some more time with the finish. Most of them seem to be pretty decent, some really good, and some unfortunately come out not so good. But for the most part, just look through your choices and you should be able to find one that doesn't appear to be too bad. But that is definitely one thing to be aware of. Um, I've already talked about the issue with the fixed sight, with a little bit of bending of the front sight or a little bit of shaving off of metal with the front sight, you can adjust it slightly. I'm not going to worry about all of that because this is not meant for me to, be, to have a tack driver. I've got other 22 pistols and I've got other pistols and other guns that are far more accurate. This is more of a fun gun, so you are kind of set with limited options with these sights as they are, and that's a little bit of a downer on that. All right, one last little con, if you will. These do come with a one-year manufacturer's warranty. It'd be nice if it was a longer warranty. I don't know where Heritage stands as far as backing up their guns. I've never had to deal with their warranty service. Some guns, like Glock, also have a one-year warranty. It's a different situation. I've been at Glock having something done to one of my Glocks. Somebody's come in with an older Glock. You could tell it's a Gen 2, so it's certainly more than a year old and they'll swap out all kinds of parts for free on it. They won't replace magazines or slides or barrels, but they'll swap out pins and springs and things along those lines free of charge. Glock stands behind their pistols in that regard. That's a very, very nice thing for them to do. I don't know how Heritage does with that. It's a one-year manufacturer's warranty. Couldn't tell you beyond that. Would have been nice if it was a little bit longer. I've not had any issues, but somebody may, so just wanted to make note of that. So in wrapping up this video, um, it's a nice little inexpensive pistol it's a revolver there's not there's nothing real fancy about it it is a single action cowboy style revolver it does have the four clicks one two three and then four you have to have the gun fully cocked to be able to pull the trigger all right again that's the cowboy or i'm sorry the colt single action format in it it's a fun little gun to shoot um it does have the little trap door on the side to load or empty because you know it, like like most of your revolvers of this style, you've got the little rod here, I don't know if you can see it coming out, but you slide down and that's to eject out the spent shell, Rot put it in the second position, rotate it, eject the spent shell, etc. go all the way around and doing that, and then as you go back, you can put the new one in, rotate it, put the new shell in, rotate, close the door, cock it back all the way, and now you're in business. So is it a, is it a great home defense gun or a personal protection gun? Nope, not, not what it was designed for. Is it a fun gun to shoot in the backyard or out in the woods or at the range, put holes in tin cans and paper? Absolutely, that's what it, that's what it is designed for. It does shoot 22 Magnum if you go with the 22 Magnum cylinder and if you can find the ammo. Um, not a big difference. For those of you that have never shot 22 Magnum uh, before, there is a difference between 22 Magnum and 22 LR, but it's not a huge difference, at least not with this type of a gun. Maybe a real small, compact, semi-automatic pistol that shoots 22 Magnum, you may notice a bit more recoil, but in this one, it's a negligible difference. It is something your brain picks up on. Maybe your hand feels a little bit, but it's really no different. Maybe a little bit louder, but it's not much different of a round. So overall, nice little plinking gun, great fun gun, good gun to learn how to shoot with. Um, go out and put some holes in tin cans and paper and have fun with it. Folks, thanks again for watching. We do appreciate it. Have a great day.
Take care.